Like the stages of grief, Hell Let Loose can have a certain effect on its players. Now I am no doctor nor even a good gamer, but I like many others have experienced these stages and I wanted to analyse them and then present my findings to you. So get your security blanket, your M1, sit back in your foxhole and let's get stuck into it. Now remember to leave a like, it's the best way to support me, subscribe for more and share this video with anyone that you think is still going through any of these stages. Stage 1. Noobing. Now this initial stage is one similar to falling in love with a person who is kinda hot, but also absolutely bonkers. You click the game icon and you sit through the credits of the studios and the anticipation and excitement begins to build. Then some slight confusion at the lack of training and a firing range. No matter you tell yourself. I'll learn as I go. <laughs> you idiot. I'm not a smart man. You eventually find yourself in a server that says, noobs welcome. Oh, perfect, you say. It was not perfect. You drop in, and the game is still in the warm-up. A warm-up! I can shoot my friendlies and test all the guns and have a laugh before we start the game. I'll stay with you, boys. Ah, take that! Oh, fuck, no, 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 no! Don't no. run forward! Don't run forward! <laughs> oh. My. Oh, my God! I'm so- You are gonna get- Next server. Wait, why is everyone talking Polish? No matter, onwards. And as you begin trudging along towards what you think is the front line, you start to think, there must be some other way to get to the front. Why am I walking? And no sooner has that thought left your beautiful thought box, the unmistakable sound of an artillery shell getting louder and louder, you tell yourself, it's probably just for ambience. It can't be a real artillery, and you're dead. Then you finally get there. 20 minutes into the game, you're at the front line, and then you start to wonder what that silly little watch is for. And why all this text keeps filling up my screen telling me to place this and do that. Get out of it. It's rubbish. I don't need it. I need to see the enemy. Bang, you're dead. Where in the fudgical was that guy? There was no Dorito above his head. There's no mini-map. What is happening? Why on earth is everyone shouting OP? OP? I'm in OP. Thank you. My name is not OP, it is Clunge Mutilator 69420, as it always has. Anyway, then you finally see one. The enemy. Foolishly running in an open field, you hiding in a bush from fear of everything else in the game, and you take that first beautiful shot. And to your shock, it hits him square in the head, and you hear the sweetest sound known to gaming. And it only took you 15 hours. This is where your addiction begins, and also where your insanity begins. Stage two, reluctant education. Now, not all players will reach even this early second stage. Some will be put off by the slower pace, the unforgiving gameplay and combat, but the ones who do end up in this vital stage, this is where your grasp on the game starts to form. You've finally figured out what that funny little watch was for. Maybe even its secondary purpose, garrisons. But then you also realize that you can have a bazooka. Expecting this thing to put a hole in the moon, you skip off looking for a tank or at least a group of enemies, and then you see a giant hulking beast. Armor so thick it's about to make you mess up, boy. You take aim, you fire. The rocket hits the ground 89 meters in front of you and 200 meters away from the tiger tank. You reload. Jeez, this is taking a while. You aim higher, you fire. And in this brief moment where time seems to stop as your hopefully well-aimed rocket is going to fly straight down the barrel of the tiger and destroy it in one glorious explosion and your whole team will lift you on top of their shoulders and praise your name for years to come. Then it happens. The rocket bounces and hurtles upwards towards the clouds free to live its life in space. Then the tank decides he's let you play around long enough and he fires one perfectly zeroed HE shell directly into your helmet making your testicles re-enter your body so fast that you choke on them. This experience, and many like it, will force you to enter the world of Hell Let Loose guides. Jeez, there's a lot of bloody videos on this. Why haven't they made a training camp yet? This is ridiculous. Some may have a more unique experience with their education in Hell Let Loose, where a seasoned old gruff veteran 
will take you under his wing. He'll teach you the ropes, teach you the roles that you need to know to be effective. And if you are the right sort of stuff, you will heed every word that this beautiful wrinkly bastard tells you. And if you're lucky, you might just skip stage three. Stage three, the false veteran. You know enough to make you competent. Statements, usually along the line of these fudging morons are playing their own game. They don't know what they're doing. This commander's trash. Why weren't you supporting me even though I didn't say anything? Now, if this phrase or phrases like that are uttered more than maybe five times every game, with all the other above criteria, potentially return to stage two and stay in stage two just that a little bit longer if you can, because you might just be a part of the bloody problem. You understand the basic meta, the gameplay, but you're still a little bit confused by the nodes and leading a squad is definitely doable, but you're not exactly easy company. However, this has given you an insight into exactly what the game needs and decide to write your thoughts down in a Reddit post. As surely no one else has ever thought of adding destruction into the game or adding a tutorial mode. You may even begin to try and take control of squads, but won't actually take the squad leader role. You will second guess everyone's decisions despite the higher rank and much higher score in every category. Now this stage can be perilous, as if not called out or checked, will cause this player to become overconfident and dare I say, pompous. Now obviously some people miss this stage, they, they skip right over it. They stay in stage two till they've got a very good understanding and then they just play the game. They get on with it, they work as a team. And then if they're lucky, they'll go straight to stage four. Stage four, the veteran. Knows this game inside and out and at this stage the player has truly ascended to the next level. Knows all the mechanics and matter of the game, can pinpoint what gun is firing and at what range and what direction. They can smell nodes and garrisons, eat recon teams for breakfast and poop out OPs. They will often present true leadership skills, tactical knowledge and even well-timed humour if the situation allows. Even when in non-leadership roles they are keeping everyone on track but never overbearing, guidance and helping hands only. However, this stage comes with a darker side and can be a more severe continuation of stage three and manifests as someone who actually does know the game fairly well, but is a total gimboid. They are annoyed at every new player, despite them being in a similar situation not so long ago. They moan incessantly at the commander for every problem the team has, even if the commander is actually doing everything right. And it just happens to be one of those games. Now this is where stage 4 diverges onto the two paths. And this second path can lead to what I call a negative ninny. Nothing is good and everything that happened to the game post update 8 is trash. They will take everything far too seriously and will laugh at anyone who plays this game for fun. God forbid. However, if one stays on the earlier path that I mentioned, you come to the rare fifth stage. Stage five, acceptance. Accept that you suck. Not everyone can be a great leader. Not everyone is the best shot or tank driver. The thing that makes Hell Let Loose special is the room to learn and grow, but also the ability to still contribute despite lacking the skills that I mentioned. Engineer, support, medic, artillery, these are all roles perfect for people who perhaps don't do very well in other areas of the game. Not to say that these roles are populated by dreadful players, but they offer the opportunity to still be involved and help win the game. That's what makes this game so special. You truly feel a part of a team, even if it is a bit of a dysfunctional one. Sitting back, building a fort, or just ferrying supplies back and forth with your friend, is the perfect remedy for a shit day at work or home. Definitely done this on a few occasions and I can confirm it's awesome. All right guys, that's all from me. Remember to like the video, help me out. Let me know what stage you're in down in the comments and join the Discord for memes and mirth. I'll catch you guys in the next one.